same orb that comes through and goes through Nestor's grave again, and I believe it's this particular orb. Because I was communicating with something there. Goes away, and then it comes in here. Watch. See? Do it again. Up, and then it books, and it comes out of here to the top. See? Starts up here. And then it books. And then it comes in here and it just kind of goes through and drops down. See? Do it again. There's that winged thing again, Claire Normal. I have some photos of this thing following a car in the parking lot. Okay, it books and then it comes through here. Close up. Very quick. But I'm telling you, Claire Normal has this, which is really neat. This thing is walking through the parking lot, following a car. Turns around and looks into the camera. This wing wing thing, like right, like literally right there, behind that grave. Seems kind of odd. It's very active. It's a lot of um, kind of like hologram people. You see it moving around. You see it. And there are other things flying around it. I mean, look at this thing. You see all sorts of activity. I do believe it is the same thing, caught in the Oak Park Cemetery. Hangs around. Again, I'm capturing this from my computer. My big computer. Large one with my iPhone. It's finding it a little bit easier to do all this stuff. But I have to show you this thing. You see it moving around? It's very active. Anybody who has a Boston Terrier knows this is what you'll live with. A snoring. But this winged creature, I swear, right here. Right here. Wings, wings, face. Right behind this tombstone. See his wings, you can see his body. I was literally walking by the car. I mean, look at this. I don't know what it is, but... I mean, it's like, kind of like... <laughs> Rubbing its hands together. You see that? Rubbing its hands together. See its arms. You see its face on occasion too. You see that? It's almost like there's two. That's kind of weird watch. Oh, wow. I do see like two. 
Right there, there's two, which is kind of bizarre. Right there. Hmm. This, I've never stopped at this point before. And this has proven to be very interesting. I stopped on the video at the point where I see two forms kind of looking over at me. But the weird thing is I did not see them. <clears throat> Either with my eyes or through the monitor. This could be the great children. They run around at night time. And people ask, you know, why? You know, is it because of scare effects that people do this at night time? That things seem to appear, appear more at night time? Well, my theory is, is that I've worked with optics, or with eyes, I've done a lot of different things like that. Studied a little bit about energy, light traveling, light, light penetrating certain different mediums. So my theory is, at least in the daytime, the energy from the sun, with the rays, the energy, you know, the electric, you know, force that comes through those rays. And it's light bundles traveling, depending on, well, then we'll get into that. But I do believe during the daytime, it is harder to manifest because you're fighting against the light. Even though they say, well, there's more energy then, shouldn't that help to energize them? Well, I believe there was a certain point when there's too much energy in the sun, you know, with all the radiation that it gives off, and especially when the, when the light rays hit the ground, and um, especially asphalt, when the light rays hit the ground, you know, it really distributes a lot more radiation, and I don't know what it does, you know, but through my studies, through my experiments, through my photos, through my conversations with the other side, um, kind of come to this conclusion.